Registered Phenomena Code 050 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Contact Hazard Visual Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-050-A is to be held in a secured containment locker at Site-002. Use of RPC-050-A for further testing and or site transferal must be approved by any researcher with L2-050 security clearance. Authority-operated bots are to be implemented throughout all public and private internet domains to observe the potential distribution of RPC-050 digitally. Use of international surveillance cameras and field agents will allow for observation of physical RPC-050 distribution. RPC-050 is the designation for an image with several anomalous properties, which are retained when it is redistributed in different formats. When RPC-050 is held in a physical form by any human individual, said individual will experience extreme visual hallucinations most often in the form of increased color and light intensity perceived by the individual. Other visual effects have included warping of surrounding objects and tonal shifts in color. When RPC-050 comes in contact with surrounding matter, said matter takes on a vibrant hue. Prolonged contact most often results in several colors appearing. This effect is permanent and is only capable of increasing in magnitude over time. RPC-050 exhibits a similar property when linked with other imagery on digital platforms. RPC-050 initially existed as a portion of a Polaroid SX-70 photograph RPC -050A, dated back to 1973. On the backside of RPC-050A are the words, made with help from Amazing Co., not sponsored, written in black whiteboard marker. Addendum 1 RPC-050-A was discovered following a report of vivid hallucinations from a resident of Inglewood, California in 1973. Following the anesthetization of said resident, RPC-050-A was recovered from the resident's apartment on the kitchen countertop. Accompanying RPC-050-A was an open letter with information potentially related to the origin of RPC-050. A text transcript of the letter's contents is documented in the subaddendum below. Addendum 1.1 Letter Transcript Lauren, I give to you now a letter that I know will be my last. Medical supplies have grown incredibly scarce, and the infection is only getting more gruesome to look down at if you aren't counting the pain. Right as my opportunity to leave Vietnam has come, it appears it's being taken away, and the longer I stay away from home, the longer I go without medication, and the worse my injury will get. I'm going to die out here. With that in mind, I also give to you now a gift, a tool, a souvenir. With how dull things must have become back home, I feel it is necessary to make sure it doesn't stay that way when I don't return. I want you to hold this photograph close, in a pocket, in a sleeve, whatever. It may not seem like much now, but it took a lot to convince a friend of mine to even make something like this. Nonetheless, this will make sure you keep a little color in your life when it seems there is none. If you really like to, you can put this with your furniture if you ever want to spruce up the place. You always felt something was missing with the white roses, didn't you? I hope this serves you well. I love you. And the last thing I want is for you to grieve. I haven't tried it myself, for your sake. This photo is about you. Please let that be. Please don't respond to this. Let me leave you on a good note. It pains me to say this again, more than it ever has been, but goodbye. With love, Arthur.